Hello and welcome to my quick tutorial on understanding firing schedules. So I wanted to offer you the way that I came to understand how to understand firing schedules. Now, the, the first thing we do with a new kiln is default to whatever the manufacturer of that kiln defaulted to. So we use the pre-programmed uh, schedules that are, that are already in the kiln. And now that's fine to start with. I mean, it's better to turn the, the kiln on and get cracking uh, and then sit there, as I know many people do, looking at this box in the corner, too frightened to put it on. So you really un need to understand what all this is about, what these numbers mean. I don't so think I'm the only one that's a bit nu numerically challenged, shall we say, I by understanding what these segments mean and what these temperatures mean, then you can start to get a real grip on creating your own schedules. At the moment, I don't want anybody to be hung up on numbers. I want to get away from numbers. Your room temperature is going to be different from my room temperature. I'm in England. It can get pretty cold, um, especially in the winter. But if we do that, we've got no problem. 